Hey guys, it's Ashley, your Cancer Beauty Guru, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to transform yourself into a princess, and from a princess into a garden fair using a few of my favorite CoverGirl products. Okay, so you want to first start off by prepping your face with foundation. I've already done so. I did want something that was still natural looking, but also very lightweight. It gave me a decent amount of coverage. So I decided to go in with the CoverGirl True Blend Foundation in the shade 425. Now, I do have some dark circles, so I decided to go in with the CoverGirl Fix Stick Concealer. And I really like this because it's in a crayon form. It's very, very easy to use, and you just pop the cap off right here, and you conceal any dark circles you have or blemishes by just simply drying it over any hyperpigmentation areas or acne scarring and then you just blend it in with your ring finger. After concealer and foundation, we want to set our makeup with a powder. So I'm going in with CoverGirl's True Blend Press Powder with a brush and I'm just dabbing it right in there and I'm applying it directly into my T-zone area because this is where I get the most oily throughout the night. And now moving on to the eyes, I'm going in with CoverGirl's Flamed Out Shadow Pencil in the shade Hot Pink Flame and I'm just taking this and I'm dragging it all over my eyes and basically this is just going to act as a base for all of our shadows to adhere to. Now, we want to keep the eyeshadow pretty minimal for this princess look, and we're going to focus on the lashes because we want to have very nice and long voluminous lashes. So I'm going in with CoverGirl's Flamed Out Mascara, and I'm just using the shade Black, and this has a curved brush feature to it, so it's going to ignite every single eyelash. For the lips, I want something that's a little bit more sheer that's not going to take away from the eyes. So I'm going in with CoverGirl's Lip Slick Smoochy Sizzle Gloss, and I am in the shade of Turn Up the Heat. I'm just going to apply this right here to my lips for a little bit of shine. So we got the basics down, now we're just going to lay on some more shadows, and I'm going in with CoverGirl's Flamed Out Shadow Pot in the shade Gold Flame. With a tapered blending brush, I'm just going to take some of the shadow, and I'm going to rock it into the depths of my crease to create a little bit more definition. After that, I'm going in with CoverGirl's Shadow Pot in the shade Limelight, and I'm just dipping a flat shader brush in there, and I'm just going to take this shadow, and I'm just going to drag it onto my lower lash line for a little bit more pop of color. And that just about wrapped up this Garden Fairy look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed both makeup looks, and until next time, I'll be sure to see you guys in the next video. Bye!